Hello and welcome to the second episode of the Into the Woods podcast. We are your hosts, Jake Mitchell and Frankie Kinn. And once again, we are joined by the amazing Jack Percival due to Mason Sturges, unfortunately, contracting COVID-19. On other good news, we are joined by two special guests. They both teach in our school. It's Mr. Jones and Mr. Flowers. So how are you guys? How are you guys doing? Yeah, good boys. Thanks for having us on. Obviously very impressed with last week's one. Uh, couldn't wait to get on. So glad we're here so early. Yes, yeah, perfect boys. Thanks for the invite. I'm mm. looking forward to it. Should be good. So first, we'll go to Mr. Flowers. So obviously Wales, finally, you're a Welshman yourself. Amazing. Yeah, got to the World Cup in, for the first time in 64 years. 64 years, too long. Too long. That's my long. my generation and my father's generation. Wow, that's crazy. That is mad. I know, I know, I know. So, so Wales, so your predictions for Wales? My predictions for Wales in the World Cup? Yeah. yeah. Mm, well, considering looking at the group we got, I'd be happy to get out. I mean, it is a success if we just get out of the group, to be yeah, honest, talking about Wales. Yeah. Massive success. Um, I'm looking forward to the England game. Should be good. Yep. Same. Yeah. Especially after the result yeah. last night. Made oh. me smile a bit. Yeah. That was awful. So, that was well, awful. I suppose we'll get to so that later. But, yeah. yeah. I think the big topic, though, is Gareth Bale, though, isn't it? Yeah. Just it thinking about Gareth Bale. Yeah. What a player. Has I he? mean, when you've got a player like that in your ranks, you're always going to have, you know, a chance in these competitions. Your Euro, Euro run was extraordinary, really. Yeah. Well, that um, was peak Gareth Bale. It was, yeah. it was, yeah. I mean, listen, on his day, That's he's unplayable. Kick. He's probably, I mean, for me, the best British player to ever live. Ooh. One of the best the Premier League's really? seen during his time there, yeah, definitely. I do just want to jump in, though. I mean, my, my, old, my dad's Welsh. Is it? Yeah. So I do oh. have sort of Welsh connections there. Swansea, so yeah. my, my dad's actually just from down the road from where Mr. Flowers is from. Oh, oh, wow. um, but I do, I do want to point. I think obviously Gareth Bale gets the gets the headlines because he is, mm. you know, he's, he's Gareth Bale. He is, yeah. But I think if you sit down and watch a Wales game, you will see a very organised defence. Mm. Yeah. Who put their bodies on the line they do like yeah. the ukraine game ben I mean, davis ben, ben, as well ben davis goal. was and he was class. exceptional i was you assuming know. never like that for time, <laughs> i was it? gonna say yeah. it must be i mean as, as yeah. a spurs fan yourself frankie you must look at that and think well why don't we get this version of him yeah but it's just like the second they put on that wales jersey they just they all i mean wayne hennessy as well i mean wayne yeah. hennessy's a journey no, he goalkeeper. Yeah. 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 Who, who doesn't have a uh, does he, he have could a club do it in palace i think he's on the bench at burnley, at burnley. Yeah. so i mean it's, it's it's amazing to see what they do sort of transform into that. ramsey I mean, as well in the middle aaron you know, ramsey as well you know got johnson from the, North Brandon Forest johnson quality players yeah. yeah. he's seen good. against ukraine yeah, yeah. yeah the goal the goal the assist by ramsey did you see the belgium goal as well i think yeah 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 what a girl. But I think you are right. I mean, Gareth Bale is is Gareth Bale. Um, yeah. He's he's just you know every now and again players come along and you just have to. There's not yeah. a lot, there's not a lot you can do rather than mm. just sit back and enjoy it. Mm. Um, particularly when he plays for Wales. I mean, you look at his yeah. uh, you know achievements over his club career. Yes, it sort of fizzled out of Real Madrid towards the end mm. with the yeah. you know lack of lack game time, game. you know Wales, Golf, Madrid, and all of that stuff. Mm. But yeah. look at what the man's won: four Champions League, five Champions League, five, five Champions League. Five. 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 Five Champions League. Five. 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 If you you go from you know his last season at Spurs mm. and his mm. first two two three seasons at yeah, Madrid, three, yeah. and the guy's a freak, man. He's mm. absolutely that over freak. that goal, the Champions League goals against Liverpool in right the yeah. final. That was when he was, you know, on the bench all season. Yeah. Came on in the yeah. final and decided to do That's that. Cool. So, it, yeah. it just mm-hmm. seems when the moment gets really big, exactly. Gareth Bale shows up. He's he's Gareth Bale shows up. So mm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah you're phenomenal talent. So yeah, you, so I assume you obviously agree with Bale as the best British I player. I think I, I would do. Yeah. So Jack, you think Rooney? Oh, I think Wayne Rooney. Ooh. Ooh. Um, I I just think his his goals, uh, his his I think his overall play as well. I think I think definitely the most complete striker we've seen. I think from an England. Yeah, player, I can bet that. Yeah. I think not Shearer as a complete. I wouldn't say Shearer. I, I, yeah, Shira. I'd say Shearer was a great goal, goal scorer, yeah, but I mean, I'd, bet, I'd say. Around. I'd say Rooney 60 goals Ridiculous. 64 um, assists for Shearer in yeah. 441 appearances obviously mm. phenomenal player yeah. what was his international record like? international I'll get that up now give me a second I mean I feel like um, even for England he was brilliant he's not England's top goal scorer which will soon be Harry Kane so he won't even be in the top two but I think a lot of players during that era didn't 
perform as well for England as they didn't. Yeah. Like that golden generation we had not long after as well, players not living up to it. But he was always, you know, that main man. He's one of the most, clin probably the most clinical player we've ever seen in the Premier Should League. He's up there. goals for England. Yeah. So, and there was a lot more easy friendlies. Like Kane's been gifted a lot. And, uh, yeah. So yeah. I think, yeah, it always to be taken into account. Phenomenal finisher. But mm. yeah, I think Wayne Rooney as a yeah. complete player. Quality player. Quality player mm. for me. Yeah. I. I want to agree with you, Jack, and mm. I'm looking for a reason not to, but I don't think I can go against Rooney. Um, obviously, as an Arsenal fan, we'll always remember the hey, days. Uh, yeah, we'll get, I mean, we can get on to that if you want to, but I mean, I'm talking about the first time we ever saw Wayne Rooney. You know, 16 years old, coming off the bench, yeah, first on the scene. Yeah, um, quite <laughs> and we're, we're talking about, you know, we're talking about an Arsenal team who at the time were, you know, we were one of the best teams in the world yeah. for for a good few years as well, yeah. mind so, you. And we had this, we had this kid who just comes on, no yeah. fear at all. And makes David Seaman look like he's a Sunday League goalkeeper. Yeah, yeah. Um, he absolutely turned Vieira as well, doesn't he? he yeah. turned, I mean, yeah. you know what I mean? And Vieira, one of the best, one of the best players to ever play in the Premier League as well. Yeah. Um, I just think, I think there's, there's there's a few that you can go to. Obviously, you can go to Gareth Bale. Um, Gaza. You, can. you know what I was going to say? I wouldn't even have Rooney as the best English player ever, let alone British. Because I really? think, yeah, really? I, th I think Paul Gascoigne, in terms of talent alone, obviously didn't win anywhere near as much. That but going ago. abroad at a time when that was not ago. something the players did that much. Finish. Obviously, going to Italy as well, probably the biggest league in the world at the time. Yeah. And I think talent-wise, mm. like something like that goal for England, Wade flicks it over. Mm. He was England's. He was he was the main man really. And I think yeah. talent alone. Um, yeah, I mean, he, he was just phenomenal. One of the best. If we're going to go off talent then, I will go out on a limb here. Mm. And I will say, if we were to revisit this in 20 years' time, I... Don't say I'm gonna. I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to say that talent-wise, Phil Foden Yeah, I agree. Is, I agree more. I think yeah. he, he. I think he is. He plays he's, like a Spaniard. He's special. He's very, very special. Mm. Um, he has the advantage of being under, you know, Pep. the best Pep. coach of all time. Yeah. I think, in my opinion, um, under Guardiola, um, mm. you know, he's gonna he's gonna bring him along. And uh, before, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if when World Cup rolls around mm. in November, December, that we look to Phil Foden mm. as our player to, to drag us out of the mud. Yeah. Mm -hmm. because, he, because he is okay. that good. Another name that hasn't been mentioned, I know if my father was sitting here now, he'd be mentioned about George Best. Ooh. Oh, oh such I know. <coughs> it's, yeah, he definitely it's one of them that. where it's so far out of my lifetime. I mean, yeah. you hear yeah, stories, yeah. people that watched him will say, you know, he's up, like Pele's level, like one of the best ever. Mm -hmm. But I mean, like I say, I, I don't know enough. I know obviously, he was a heavy drinker and all of that, but mm. talent alone and as a footballer, I can't deny mm. what he done with United as well. It's not one that I'd go for just because I haven't seen him enough, but yeah, he's mm. definitely a shout. Him and the likes of Ian Rush, Kenny Dalglish, yeah. all of them. Mm. But yeah. So, so Flav, would you put, who's better than Bale or Giggs? Oh, Bale, 100%. I think, Giggs, I think that's an easy one. I think Giggs, that's not even that's, a debate. That's, that's, that's yeah. not even a debate. I won't lose any sleep over that question. That's not even a debate, yeah. yeah. Giggs, he is good though. He's possible. Yeah. Even, oh. even as a manager, I think he hasn't done his self-justice. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. It's all, it's all <laughs> Rob, Rob, yeah. Rob, Page, Rob Page has done the one thing that international and renowned managers of this world couldn't do, and that's man manage Gareth Bale on a level mm. where he can, yeah. can perform and play for Wales. Yeah, yeah. I think there's a few, there's a few sort of outside shouts. Um, I think you, you've got to look at. Lampard and Gerard. Mm. Yeah, and Gerard's yeah. definitely Scalzi. up there. Scalzi as well. I mean, even you look at Rio and JT, and you look mm. at the, the absolute mo Ashley, Ashley Cole, Cole as well. Yeah. If, if we, if we Palace think, legend, if, yeah. if 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 we think about, if we think about, you know, a player who, I think universally, mm. for what mm. a decade maybe, yeah unquestioned like you are the best player in your position mm -hmm. in the world mm -hmm. and that was actually cold yeah. for, for for about a decade yeah. Was, yeah. Um, yeah so obviously there's, there's i think there's, there's there's definitely up for debate i am however going to reluctantly agree with jack uh, and i am i am gonna have to go with really i i personally think shearer i think sheerly down to his goals assists 
He's won three golden boots. Seems to be Blackburn, right? Yeah, yeah, carried yeah, them yeah. to a, a Premier League title. Obviously, I haven't seen much, but what I've heard from like family and stats on YouTube and all that, yeah, yeah. I think he carried that team. And I think for that, I think I don't think I'm, I know you're obviously going to argue Kane would top his all-time Premier League goals. I don't mm. think that will get matched. I think that's another one that in 20 years we'll look back and I think I think Kane's Kane, up there. Yeah. If Kane breaks Shearer's record. I mean, it does depend on what he wins because he's got yeah. nothing right now. But captain in England, <laughs> golden boot in the World Cup, and he got obviously his team got to the Champions League final. But as a player, I mean, he's just the most natural goal scorer I've seen. And like Rooney, he's so complete with passing of a yeah. and what he has exactly, to his team. Exactly. Yeah. Can I can I play devil's advocate for a second? Yeah. Go because on. I witnessed Wayne Rooney go from a striker. out and out striker who yeah. all he knew was goals yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? that's all he knew yeah. was goals mm -hmm. i witnessed really drop back yeah further Very and further good. and further i can see Kane into midfield that. and you when can he lost his legs yeah. and you can see you can see it i don't know whether it's because kane is you know making a deliberate choice to you know with runners obviously with spurs it works it wonderfully does, yeah. with kulisevsky and son mm. running in behind mm. his hold up plays amazing his link up plays amazing and it's sort of a double-edged sword isn't it because yeah. yes you you want him in those positions you because do, you yeah. want him to link up all the playing and that but mm. does it take away from yeah his ability to score goals because i mean even watching the england game last night it, you, you sort of look at him, him late he and, you think good, if, yeah. and you think if I mean if Harry Kane's not getting a penalty mm. is he is he is he scoring as many goals? Mm. Mm. Well, I mean the England thing. I think I've said I don't rate Southgate. I've run him out for a while, mm. but I think when you're judging off of these friendlies, we're talking about players that have just had a full season, True. would rather be on holiday, and it is a friendly, isn't it? It's Nations League, yeah. but who wants friendly, it, exactly yeah. what it is? It was brought in for the lower countries to give them a chance to and qualify yeah, for the more money tournament. as well. That's why you saw North Macedonia in the Euros last year. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but they sweetened it by saying, "Well, we'll give the top nations a little trophy yeah. that you can mm. win." But yeah. other than for the top nations like you guys, like England, it is just literally a glorified friendly, it is, yeah. where yeah. you can try out your yeah. how to that is yeah, on the Bowen and the Saka squad, or yeah. how yeah. they be well I mean if, if you look, <laughs> look at the teams that like look at like, the teams that France have been putting out oh my yeah. god like, yeah. I mean yeah. look, look, what De Bruyne uh, De Bruyne came out De Bruyne out literally said and, it's a glorified friend and he was like, he's like why am I playing this yeah. Yeah. Why, yeah. Why, why, why are we here there was a stat last year that, um, not last year I heard of a weekend and it said De Bruyne is going to have about three weeks rest next season and play like 73 games. That is ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. Which is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. It's it's nice the amount of games now, it is just all bonkers. I think, yeah. Now listen, going back to the Kane thing, I do think that in terms of, I get goals wise, is he losing out? And the fact is probably yes. If, you, if Naturally, if you're striking yeah. to come deeper, you're losing out on goals. But yeah. what you need to think about is what he has to a team. Like it yeah. might damage his yeah. um, ability to catch up to Shearer, and I see that as you know a fair argument. But in terms of does it if, like make him a worse player? No, I think it makes him better because he's still one of the best finishers in the world on both feet, yep. best penalty taker. And you know you have to be able to score them. He's probably the best in the world at that. Mm -hmm. um, and his passing ability again with both feet and the way he controls the tempo of a game, he's just different gravy. Mm -hmm. So good. Well, and, even you look at like Rooney's stats here from the, since. I mean, look at from twenty ten up to 2016 his last mm. at Man United the only game the only season where he's got over 20 goals is one of seven years and mm. before that he got pretty much 20 every single year I think yeah. I think to be fair to be fair to Rooney though to be fair to Rooney with how consistent he was um, you can make the argument if you look at who he played with mm. so oh, PRC. we're talking you know we're talking he he sacrificed for Ronaldo Mm. He sacrificed he did, for yeah. Berbatov. Mm -hmm. yeah. He sacrificed for Tevez. He sacrificed Tevez, yeah. for Van Persie. Mm. He sacrificed himself a lot for these players around him, mm. which is why it's so amazing he scored yeah. as many goals yeah. as he yeah, still did. Yeah, because you know he, he he was he was happy to do the dirty work. He was happy to yeah. to you know pick up the yards that Ronaldo yeah. wasn't going to run. Yeah, but he yeah. was happy to pick up the guy that Berbatov certainly wasn't going to run. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Which is why I think it's so amazing if you look at how many goals the man scored. It, yeah. it, it yeah. is insane. And it's not, I mean, it's not like, I mean, we're not talking Didier Jogba standards here, who was an out and out striker yeah. and only went over 20 goals once. Yeah. That's a conversation for another day and we mm. can talk about that. But, he is overrated, like to be fair. But I mean, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah I think Kane. 
I do agree with you. I think Kane will end up breaking Shearer's record. I agree with that. The man's just a goal machine. You think? I, I do. Think. I, I mean, what, what is he, 28? He's, I'll tell you what, if he had gone City last year, I think it would almost be a guarantee. Oh. I think that's probably... I mean, how, I hate how, 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 how many goals are you off? How many goals are you off? Um, he's yeah. only, I believe, don't quote me, it's oh, like between yeah. 60 and 80. He's, oh, he's, he's much as, I promise you, he's much as. The Premier League record. records? Yeah, he's only 80. Should I have a check now? So if, check us, if we're talking about he's, it's a player that doesn't rely on his legs, he's mm. 28, turning 29. He's got at least four good years. If he gets oh, 15 yeah. goals oh, those yeah. years, he's done. He's, yeah, so mm. I think I'd be. I'd be right. so shocked. Even if he has to go to a palace at like 30, yeah. 35, <laughs> and, and, and score some pens. We'll take him. We'll take yeah. him. Good backup player, right? Anyway, so Alan Chill is on 260. Kane is on 183. So less than 100. Yeah, about so, 80. you know, he's 85. only, only no, one off, he's only, on, only one off Aguero, a couple off Cole. And Ahead of Henry, isn't he? Yes. Yeah, he's over Oh, look at that. Frank Lampard, <laughs> not on Oh, get that's that got me Get to that another side. Hey, we're 15 minutes in, Frank. He's already trying to get me. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was only a matter of time, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it was only a matter of time. So, yeah. yeah. Um, so, what is he, 28, 29? Yeah. You know what, right? I think a, a good point like against Rooney almost is as good as he was I feel like he really didn't reach the potential he had in terms of mm. his his peak yeah. was like 24 when he was yeah. young mm. so he came yeah. for like 16 he was ridiculous tearing up the Premier at a young age but I, I don't know if it was to do with his legs or he just hit a peak early on but he kind of like reached a height that he never topped and maybe that is heavily due to the fact that he went further like down in terms of yeah. the team lineup like that's fair enough but I feel like he could have just been mm. a world beater, really. And Gareth Bale, like when he was at Spurs, he had that same kind of every game he was yeah. mm. bossing a game. He, mm. If he got the ball, I don't care if you're 40 yards out, you're going sugar. Because yeah. he could hit one, he could run through yeah. the team. He's and right now, he, was like, he was like a slightly worse Ronaldo in the Premier League kind mm. of thing. And obviously winning player of the year in that Spurs team. So I, I think Bale for me is definitely. When were you born, boys? 2008. It's getting old. But <laughs> that Man United, I don't know about you, Mr. Jones, but that Man United team from 2007 2009 was scary. Mm. Mm. I mean, look at it here. It was, I was one years old. I actually disagree with Frankie here. Oh. Because. Oh, hello. Um, and you, you said about Rooney never top his peak. But I'd say, and as Mr. Jones said, he was probably supplying, his whole career really, he was probably yeah. supplying other players to score. Uh, so the RVP, I think, said on in an interview, he said, like, the, the, game, the days before games, Fergie would literally say, you're going to pick up the ball, mm. you're going to get it, you're going to pass it long, yeah. and RVP's going to go and score goals. And mm. that's what the one in the league. Well, the boot, didn't the only year, the only it. year actually, that he, he won per the year. Uh, they yeah. didn't win the league, but they did, and he scored 26 goals in 32 games. Mm. Um, and that was the the year that Ronaldo no, Tevez left. left. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they had no backup players pretty much, and it was just him solely, and that's his best scoring record um, this season. Actually, no, tell a lie, 27, he got 20, 11, yeah. 12. Again, without any backup. Yeah. Well I, I do think well Sorry. I do think it is a lot about the eye test, though, not just stats. Like as much as I, I there's no denying he was a world class player his whole career. I'm not saying you know he was really good at 24, then he was a bit average. Of course, he was world class and he was in a world class team. And what he's done is extraordinary in terms of the best club in Britain. Man United, he's top goal scorer, best country in Britain. No offense. Yeah. Um, he's the uh, he's the top goal scorer. So I think there's no denying his incredibleness but in terms of his recognition on a global scale i think it just could have been so much more and if you watch him mm. when he was young and yeah. like i say terrorizing like i do think there's something there that was missing i think it's harsh to say that though because maybe think, yeah i think look if you look at every season you've got 10 i, I can't get six assists but again i bet you now it's he's at least got 15 assists every year check. as well yeah i think I bet you've got 15 assists at least every what year. years I like think also what, what we um yeah, what we should uh what we should bear in mind as well um is if you look at their body types mm. Mm. i mean rooney i mean there's a few documentaries out there Ooh. on rooney that if, you have a, if you have a look at him, the one on amazon no, yeah i ain't seen that one you know yeah. i mean he he likes a drink hunger. he likes a drink apparently yeah and I, I remember i remember fergie years ago saying that he used to dread um the end of the season mm. because he knew he wouldn't be able to keep tabs on Rooney's fitness. Yeah, yeah. So he would like have like off season programmes for Rooney because he knew that he would have yeah. to because if he mm. slipped it, He had yeah, tabs on the nightclubs in Manchester, didn't he? He was like if Rooney goes in there, oh, give yeah, me a phone yeah. call and I'll yeah. I'll be down there. So I, I, I do think that um I do think that Kane has got more 
and for, I, I mean, even a development of of what we know about the human body and recovery time and all that stuff. Yeah. Kane, Kane's got all the advantages. Yeah. If, yeah, Kane, yeah. if Kane doesn't break it, mm. then I reckon he's fallen short of. Mm. If he doesn't win a Premier League or Champions League, like obviously we have to leave Tottenham. Mm. Like, I'll admit that. But if he doesn't win something, I mean, even if it's like a World Cup of England, I mean, when we got he got the Golden Boot, and we got to yeah. the semis. I really thought that that was, that was Kane's good. moment because that that was just I extraordinary. Was I mean, yeah. yeah no. But I think I think even that's hard to say though, that Kane has an advantage because unless he no, does, he definitely does. But I think because he does. But I think at the same time it's harsh to say that on Kane's point because I think he is playing in a team a much where worse Spurs, team. It's a great Spurs point. and Man United, he's playing in P Man United yeah. years, really, he was, for years yeah. and years and years. Fair point. So it going is, back yeah. to Rooney, I've just checked he's overall 103 assists. 103 assists. That's crazy. Is that, that's that's 100 100 goals. Goals. 10 years. That is ridiculous. 10 years. In 10 years. 103 yeah. assists and 200 goals in 18 minutes. Mm. Did he ever get most assists in the league? But you probably did. Because I think Kane and Norris the only, only players to get most goals and assists, and mm. I think that was enough, the only one player of the season. Once. Yes, I, I shot that as well. Uh, 2009 10 is 26 to well, Kane's never won it, I'm pretty sure. So, so. That's, yeah. Um, I don't think he has. But he, he did win the Premier League five times. So. He got robbed of it again yeah. when Diaz yeah. won it, though, didn't he? Most goals and assists. That, oh, that yeah. achievement, I mean, Henri, the season Henri done it, and I think he got 20 plus goals and assists, so it was yeah. probably more impressive than Kane's. Mm, yeah. But he was in a much better side. I think both of those years, they were just extraordinary. And the Kane I was watching, it was like Mourinho had a crap time at Spurs, everyone knows it. But tactically, he got it. He got it aced. He, I saw under Pops that passing ability, but he was the first one to go, you're going to come deep, you're going to pick up the ball, and then you've got probably the best left winger in the world, in my opinion, running into the box with great finish on both feet and pace so that really works they've got the most goal contributions together yeah. the sun, so. what's it 39 now I don't even know I lost count after they so, beat I Lampard it's like 38 <laughs> it's 39 for we saw yeah, it's it's really nice. Nice. And I mean yeah he's a great player great so, player it is impressive just going back to obviously you, you touched on it a little bit there about um, Henri having the 2020 season yeah and obviously obviously I'm an Arsenal fan and obviously a lot of the time my Arsenal bias does sort of as as you're all aware but I mean Thierry Henry in his brilliant in his day brilliant have you seen his um, he's he's probably, he's, he's, have you seen that clip of Bel with Belgium because he was a coach of Belgium oh yeah and he, hit, uh, and he yeah. yeah and KDB and the and we'll said they're like, like mate he hasn't trained all day and he get he literally gets free kick on his weak foot which they talk all day honestly yeah. I, I, I remember going to, I remember going to Highbury as as a kid and just being in awe mm. of the, mm. it, it, it was i mean it must be i mean it must be like i've never had the feeling since but you go into every single game that mm. you play and you think we've got a chance yeah. Pure, purely because yeah, we had him yeah. purely because yeah. we, our, our champions league run in 2006 we went to the the final in 2006 yeah, Barcelona, yeah. yeah. Messi did his magic yeah but no, no that was um that was the that was we got, uh, Jens Lehmann got sent Samuel off Eto, no? and we had uh, oh, Eto did score but yeah. yeah, yeah that's the one well. but we had we had that we had an absolute shocker in that game anyway but <laughs> if you look at our we 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 beat Real Madrid we beat Juventus we beat you like Pat Vieira's um, when mm. Master Vieira was at Juve yeah and Fabregas gave him the run around but uh, yeah, again nah, it's talk for another day but I mean every single game that I mean I think the burnabout is is, is the, oh the goal that's, the, that icon, goal, that's yeah. the iconic goal yeah, isn't it? You know, the one, he picks the yeah. ball the up yellow kit everything. he picks the ball up everything. in the halfway line and he just he dances past everybody and mm. wins the game for us it was yeah. mm. it was so surreal that like I said every single game we played mm. i thought we we've got a chance here because yeah, he's one of the best he was so, one of the best of Premier League's ever seen Henry, a lot he's of played say, over so. over 200 games less than shearer only mm. 85 goals off him as well so uh, pretty impressive if he had stayed in the game. Game. and you know what i think really hurt him and it was Vengo because he had a degree in like finance and economics, didn't he? He was like Vieira and Henri. He done the thing where he went yeah, at twenty eight. He was like, no, I don't want him because yeah, he knows exactly. it does the finan players. financial and physical decline of a player. Mm. And as well, as much as that's a good way to look at it, you know, save money for the club. When you got a player yeah. like Henri, you yeah. don't get rid of him. I mean, I, th I think the the biggest the biggest like indication of how good he was is when when he came back to us. And oh, he was an old man. Everyone mm, thought he yeah, was. He was an old man, yeah. and we thought, oh yeah, this will be nice and whatnot and whatnot. But yeah. we play Leeds in the FA Cup. We've got nothing. That we can't really do anything. And on. you know what I mean? It's on, opens yeah. his body up and far corner. There yeah. you go. 
that that was that was just the mark. His goal against United is my favourite ever Premier League goal. The one where he flicks it and turns. And, and listen, I hate to admit it, but I, for me, he's. I don't know if he's number one, but he's definitely like top two, he's top three best there. players to the Premier scene. He's mm. just so yeah. dangerous. But that's what you said. I remember. I remember when he came back because I went to his first. I was there at his first league game Sorry. back because it was. Oh, wow. Yeah, you, you um, think you lot win three, three, yeah. three, three two? Danny Graham's wow. got to win. That is Danny crazy. Graham, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely well, right. Well, 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 just well, about the yeah, well done. <laughs> Good man. I know these things. Oh, I know these things. Yeah, Somehow. I know that's when things. Sigurdsson was amazing as well. What man? Oh, 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 <laughs> yeah. Controversial oh, there, Jack. Oh, oh, oh. Not putting that Expert's in legend, but not anymore. So yeah. we've got, we got no, to be careful not, here. Right, right, okay. I mean, football is free kicks. So to summarise, we got our best British player. Really? I've got... I've gone bail. I've gone bail. We're, so, a bit, we're a bit off on a tangent. Yeah, we do. Yeah, 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 massively. <laughs> so getting back on to, 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 getting back on to the topics, <laughs> um, our last topic today. For the Premier League this season, who have been your underachievers and overachievers? Teams or players? Teams. Teams. I think um, one thing I want to say is we're, we're not going based off, like, with 10 games to go, Arsenal were expected top four. We're going from the start of the season, <laughs> where are, we'll like, going off those kind of expectations. Because mm. things like the chelsea Abramovich situation, Man United and Tottenham are in a bad start, so Arsenal should have capitalised, things like that we can't take into account we should just go based off mm. start of the season what you would have thought would have happened who did better than you would have thought and who did a lot worse than you would have thought so do you want to go with under or overachievers first I think under is probably the easiest one under. to go over isn't it yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I've got quite a few I have I've gone with I think obviously the obvious one is Chelsea or Leeds I don't think Chelsea has achieved but for me I'm going to go with Villa now I know they did lose Grealish yeah, and that was a big but the players they brought in Ings, Buendia <coughs> Bailey scored three goals yeah exactly they already they already had was it only three? Was that three three goals they were, all, like, they were all at the it start as well. like but anyway if you look where everyone put them I would say I, I think I put them in there I'm the kick off the two Jordy put them top six Everyone was predicting them to get sick. Where did they finish? Fourteenth, thirteenth. They panicked, though, didn't they? They were. They got a bad, bad run of results. It's second. another one where you do like have to fill them because of the whole managerial situation. But yeah, he but underachieved. You would expect him yeah. to do a lot better than he did. And Villa were that last time. I mean, selling your star man Grealish, you're always going to have an effect on the club. But they reinvested that really impressively, and it gives me the same vibes of when Tottenham sold Bale for a world record yeah. fee and bought the likes of Lamella. Like, it, it doesn't so like, if you buy five <laughs> average yeah. players, you're not going to replace your Calvinian. world-class player. So I think, I mean, who was the winger they got? The Jamaican <laughs> one. Oh, don't. He scored, uh, Leon he scored Bailey. A few times. Yeah, Leon Bailey. So he, I mean, Where's I really, I had hope for him and I wanted Spurs to get. Yeah, and then, yeah, I mean, yeah, I agree with you. They've definitely been underachievers. Mm -hmm. I'd go, I'd probably go Everton, but, you know, it's yeah, a boring, yes. easy one. But, I mean, with the amount of money they've invested in the last few years, yeah, they, well, they I mean, when they had Ancelotti, they were top of the league for a while. I mean, it <laughs> yeah. shows the power of a manager, doesn't it? And you look at their team, like, they're not great, but the likes of Richarlison, they're not, they shouldn't be in a relegation But fight. with Everton, I think, from the get-go, they, they brought in Benitez. Well, yes, he was he was Liverpool's, one of Liverpool's best managers. He but was. you look at the players they brought in, Townsend, free, you know, oh. Palace rejects. That Damara Gray. Damara Gray was a good signing. It was brilliant. Early, early dropped off, didn't he? Yeah, and then he dropped him? off. He scored a screamer against Arsenal to win the game. Yeah, yeah, that was a good one. That was the only thing that he did like two months. It was, wasn't it? And yeah. Sods were it was against Arsenal, but you know. Yeah. Townsend scored that one goal. You know, it was yeah. a very good goal. Um, I, I, uh, I was going to go with Villa as well. Yeah. Um, I do agree. I think they're massively underachieved. Yeah. Um, yeah. And obviously, particularly, and you look at uh, in January as well, the addition of Coutinho. I yeah, mean, Coutinho, cool. Coutinho yeah. came in. Digne. And Digne as well. Like, I mean, you look at their setup, they've got a proper good side. I'm going to go with Leicester. <laughs> It's a great one. See, I think I'm Frank going to the eighth they finished. I, I didn't say that. No. I'm going to go with Leicester because if you look at that Leicester team on paper, yeah, yeah, that's a team who's fighting for, they a, top, for a top four fifth, spot. Fifth, yeah, yeah. yeah. Four. Do you know See, what I mean? It's funny you should say that because I said if we weren't, and what Frank said about um, the if we're going from the start of the season, eighth would be seen maybe as an underachievement, as you said. But I would say they overachieved if you were going off the last 15 games, 20 games. Because I remember they didn't have centre backs. Because of their start. Yeah. Vardy was injured the whole season. Mm. Didn't have centre backs. Injured in um, season. So finally got a broken leg, yeah. which kept them out the whole mm. season. Vardy, they played. they had Madison out for a bit, who, who was their best player. Uh, I think I think to be fair, eighth probably in the end they they scraped an eighth. I, I, I think eighth is about right for them, considering. Yeah, they're European I, I agree. Yeah, they do a bit of football. I agree that I think eighth is, although it's maybe you can't like, forget they got to a 
semi-final. Semi-final. Yeah. yeah. They, they did as well. Roma, well same with West Ham. Yeah. yeah. West Ham. I think, so I think, I think if West Ham had had well Europe, there. I think they would have you easily... You know what? Got looking West Ham started off fantastically well. Looking at it now, I feel a big honourable mention for under the team is definitely United. The amount of people that said no, title challenge no, I, think I, I think I put them second. Like, that is ridiculous. I said fourth. I said fourth. We both said fourth. But the fact, yeah, it wasn't even like they got sick. Like, and, comfortable. Oh, it was a transition year because mm. of the manager. I don't even give the benefit of the doubt because I think no. Solskjaer was never a great manager in the first place. No, People expected Ronaldo to be this god. He was good, but I think mm. he arguably... Funnily enough, he got the, the be team. best out of it. Solskjaer was mugged off as a, a really yeah. bad manager. Yeah. He got the best yeah. out of Bruno. Yeah. Sancho, I mean, not, didn't really get anything out of Sancho. Didn't really get anything out of have a very short side. It, it's a very good team. He, I mean, he started to get something coming around, didn't he? Uh, he started to tune him a little bit. Greenwood, he got the best out of, obviously, before that happened. Yeah. He, he, he got the best out of players. Him, he man. did get the best out of players. You've got to admit, think... Martial, the NHS Martial. Yeah, I mean, but I yeah. think if... Man United didn't win a game this season that Ronaldo didn't play in. Yeah, no, I agree, I agree. he also Ed, scored. Ed, Ed, front, Ed, no, every game Ronaldo didn't play. I believe he Man, scored Man, over. Man, season, Man United I did not win. The Jack, you know he scored over fifty percent of their entire yeah, yeah. goals. Yeah, the Champions League, they wouldn't have. They wouldn't have got for yeah. Can we address the elephant in the room? Yeah. Can we address the elephant in the room? Oh, and I know we spoke about this on. I know we spoke about this on Friday, but. Chelsea, yeah. Che I like, I and, 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 and again, this might be this might be uh, some of my Arsenal hatred, bias hatred yeah. for Chelsea coming up. This but is Chelsea if well. you look at you go on, go back to the start of the season, yeah. and when they, them, they? when they, they, they signed they Lukaku, to be thing, yeah. when they signed Lukaku, it was right. That's what's going to put Chelsea over the top. Yeah. And yeah. I do want, and Frankie, I understand where you come from with the whole uncertainty about Abramovich and the ownership and stuff like that. Yeah. But at the end of the day, these are professionals, and this is what they do. They yeah. play football. Yeah. Yes, I understand it might have been a little bit. Oh, what's but Tuchel, I think he, he said it was. It was very Tuchel hard. as well. I mean, he was going through stuff in his personal life yeah. as well. It was very hard. But I think at the end, of the, you, if you look at that Chelsea squad, mm. should be again if we're going should off. be running. You know, Liverpool and Man City, yeah. but then all the way. I understand think, your point about how they should. Like, I, for me, I think they should have been at least closer. Mm. To them Eighteen they, points. I've got it here. They dropped. They dropped off seconds. after what February, I think January. It was, I think it's January. Yeah, after but, that. but you look at them i think realistically they're expected to finish third yeah yes. but yes they are expected to be at least a lot closer yeah a lot, a closer. lot closer yeah and they did nearly they were like i think they were three or four points off yeah. finishing fourth or i fifth. remember like december though time i think it started to go down here december i remember and they got the chiller injury mm, yeah that and then was james loss. pulled his hammy or something yeah and then they scrapped two penalties at home to leeds yeah, yeah. they got a 1-1 one -one draw with everton mm. they got 1-1 one -one draw with burnley um yeah. and like they and they started to slip but then they got back up and went and they were starting to maybe just carve out results getting mm. one nils getting two ones at home around the semi final yeah time. and then they were starting and then they just and then the Abramovich thing happened and it, yeah. it just hit i do game. think i really do think to class a team as underachieving i think this is where after having this debate before outside the podcast i think this is where we've all disagreed or at least me and it's where you actually expected them like at the start of last season like i know what you're saying about the team but i think anyone that said that they should be finishing above yeah. city and liverpool with the managers in mind and the squads mm. for me they shouldn't be touching them too which they didn't but they got as close as they could have they came third yeah, it and they came very harsh, like with united they expect the top four they got sixth that's underachieving because you've not achieved what you should do chelsea are expected around top three and they've come third for me although it's the lower end of it they haven't underachieved they've done what they should and they got the two finals average. taking yeah. liverpool Lost to on penalties, penalties on both yeah. so Lottery. i think it depends what you class as an underachiever it feels harsh to big enough. say then it feels very harsh to say they underachieved but yeah. if you look at it they did they did because if you were saying to them at the start of the season you'd come third 18 point, points behind second mm. liverpool uh, you you bottled bubble. You, you you lost two finals. You should have won the league. They, cup as they well. should have won a final. Look, to be fair to them, the Carcass goal was not offside. And to be but fair to Tuchel, it feels very hard to say that they did underachieve. What, do, do we think Liverpool underachieved? No. I, do you mean over? I, I was, That's I another one. Well, I think if you look at it from maybe towards the end of the season, you can look at it and go, you know what? They didn't yeah. be good enough with what they had, but Four if, weeks left of the if you told me at the start of the season they take City to, to the title down to the wire. 
And then they'd have obviously Salah getting the well, most goals, most assists. They'd, they'd come second in the league by what was it? A point in a the point end. It was. Get to a Champions League final. I get that it was an easiest run, so that one's yeah. a bit mare. And then win two cups. Doesn't matter how they did it. They played against Chelsea and both, who, like we say, is a strong side, and they beat yeah. them. Whether it's a penalty or not, mm -hmm. they beat them. So I don't think you can say that Liverpool won Steve, but I would yeah. get the point of view of they could have got a quadruple treble and they got two trophies. Another trophies. argument yeah. to the Liverpool one is. If you look the year before, they just scraped top four. They did. And a lot yeah, of people Phillips. in their predictions put them th third or fourth. So some people could argue they overachieved uh, this season. Yeah. I, I would argue, I would argue that they have overachieved. Because I think yeah. less it, two trophies won, got to a Champions League final, I mean, last pre day. Precisely. If you said to them over Liverpool fans last season, May not would be sixth mm. and be way off you, who just come second and been bit by exceedingly the second mm. best team in the league by far. And you lot are going to be in for a quadruple by the mid the end of April. Yeah, yeah. Not, not even end of April, Jack. If you go it's to if you if you said if you said to a Liverpool fan, right, with eight days left of the footballing calendar, mm. you are well and truly in for four trophies. Yeah. Mm. You yeah. got two in the bag. Unlucky and you, for the and, 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 and you could win the yeah. Premier League. And I think that's a massive overage. And again, it, yeah. it, it, it speaks I, to I, you. From where they came, I, I think if you would say two seasons ago and then they said this season, yeah. Then, yeah. then you would have gone, I think, I'm going off, expected. Yeah, based off what season, people say. I, would, I, wouldn't, I definitely wouldn't class it as an overachievement because I think the most important person at any club is the manager. And I know yeah. you say Pep's the best ever, but for me, in terms of the clubs that they've had and what they've done, I do think Klopp for me. I don't say he doesn't spend money. He's just spent. A I didn't say. I though. never. At no point okay. did I say he doesn't spend money. I said the All clubs right. that he's done it with. But I think that with Klopp, he's just that good. And when you've got players like Van Dijk and Salah, it's not like they've had a crap year and actually their squad looks a bit crap. It was the year before they underachieved because they'd they what, did, won a yeah. Premier League. Then they underachieved. It doesn't mean the next season they're not expected to challenge for the title. No, that's not I, a I, I actually put them second. I think. You, yeah, I, I put them I top. Think, I, I think they. I did think they'd come back. I yeah. knew Van Dijk would come back stronger. I, I thought that they'd come back, and I thought, yeah. oh, here we go. So, if Liverpool haven't overachieved, who who are the overachievers then, boys? Brighton for me, I think. I agree with you. Yeah. Brighton. Brighton. Looking at the table. Yeah. Looking sure. at that table. I think Brentford for me. Ninth. Right. Brentford and obviously, I'm a Palace fan, so I'm going to try and. It's going to hurt me to say it, but Graham Potter, what a manager. Oh. I think he should be the England manager. I yeah. do believe that. Yeah. I, I think, think he, I think well, I think he will. I think you I think he should. <laughs> I predicted Brighton to finish the past three, four years in the Premier League. I predicted yeah. him to finish somewhere between fourteenth and sixteenth. I always say Brighton's go down, and that's due to my <laughs> bias obviously. I say twentieth. Yeah. They yeah, always but... prove me wrong. Do you know what? I'm I'm probably gonna make you boys happy now and this I I I'm gonna go I'm gonna do it. it. I'm gonna do it. I think I Crystal Palace. I think, what? Uh, I'm, oh. uh, and and do you know do you know why right do you know what and yes you can look at the end yes you can look at league positioning at the end of the year and you can you know you can say oh well yeah Brentford ended up when they finished 13, yeah, 14. Yeah, yeah. but let's face it with what four games to go everyone's like oh, Brentford they're, they're yeah, in trouble yeah, you know I, mean? Yeah, yeah. I mean yeah they, they you you can string a few games together at the end of the season when you're playing against people who've got nothing to play for yeah, yeah. exactly and then you know you, you, you not and and yeah, on. Palace's cup run I, yeah, exactly, Palace's yeah. cup run right I, um, I went to that semi-final against, um, <laughs> against Chelsea cracking day out it was um, but I think if you look at and um, Palace have Same been yes under 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 Roy, under Roy, they it was awful. it was survival. Yeah. Yeah. Every yeah. year it was yeah, right. Exactly. Let's stay in the Premier League. Yeah. It was it, 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 it was we're gonna yeah. sit back, we're like gonna that. defend really well, and every time we get the ball, we're gonna go to Wolf. Exactly. Yeah. You, you, and then you, and I mean, let's face for it. Eze as well. Let's but, face it. You took a risk bringing in Vieira. That's what yeah. I said. You took he, a I risk. Mean, well, he was one of the last. It is a risk. New, we wanted Far, Nuno, Nuno, but he got them. Mm. Got Far them. Ray was yeah, going to sign to back out last second. Farco was like, no way, I'm not doing this. Mm. I think he saw our team, and then all the peers were going as well, and went, no. Yeah. I think Lampard backed out of it as yeah, well. Up he twice. was he was one of our last candidates, but yeah. he's done a good job. I think some some of the football you boys played this year, and again and again coming from where you've been in this last several years yeah. in terms of anti-football yeah. you lot played some Amazing. lovely stuff I mean you played us off the park twice both games yeah. both, I mean I, I went to the game at the Emirates and there's we no should have won that you he's, he's you like moulded the team should, I say. I mean, even the players that yeah. I warned he's moulded them to but a, I mean I, that, that game that game at Selhurst um, I mean 3-0 <laughs> 
go, going into it, I mean, I, I'm, I think Selhurst under the lights is probably outside of Anfield so and uh, outside of Anfield so and um, the Yeti, and, and, and the Etihad. I think Palace under the lights is probably one of the most. When, when the fans, to sorry, can we do a little rewind? Etihad. Are we talking about the Etihad here? Are we talking about no, the no, same I'm, 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 I'm not talking about atmosphere. I'm oh, not talking about atmosphere. I'm, right. I'm talking about nerve. I'm, like, talk, I'm talking nerve. about you know where, where you look at those games on on, on the on the um, on the fixtures that, yeah. and you think do you know what Anfield right we'll lose that uh, Etihad right we'll oh, lose that right. and then and then oh, all, right. of, and all yeah, of a sudden yeah, all yeah, of a sudden yeah. you see like, you see Monday night Crystal Palace 8 p.m. kickoff I mean, and you right know three nil you know that Selhurst is going to be bouncing yeah you know it's the atmosphere is going to be crazy you know the players are going to be up for it and it's, mm. it just seems to be that obviously you know the boys in the Homesdale end are phenomenal for 90 yep. minutes yeah. three nil up or three nil down they don't stop yeah. and family end with <coughs> we love it and, and, love it. and, and it, <laughs> I, I, I think all things considered from where you were last season the gamble yeah. you took with Vieira yeah. and how you ended up playing football this year going forward I would say that Palace no, I would, I would, oh. love, to, I would oh. love to agree with you but I think looking at Palace obviously I'm going to be somewhat biased I'm going to try to remove that I agree with what our friend, me and uh, all of us three's friends, Barnaby said. He said, the games we've won have been games we shouldn't have won, but the games we've lost or drawn, uh, we should have won. Good those. point. So, like yeah. Burnley drew Not both of You bottled a line. lot of easy points. Yeah, you know, really. Arsenal yeah. bottled. The corners. And we, in the, the first podcast, we worked out we'd be in the, what, top six? six, top six. Yeah, you'd be in the hunt, surely. If yeah. You, if, if you... So, and we, but I it's his butts and maybe. I definitely think... Think... I definitely think you overachieved, especially with what I was saying at the start of the season. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's an overachievement, <laughs> but... That's 18th. An overachievement, as much as it is, and that cup run as well was brilliant, you haven't, so like, close. blown me away in the sense of... If someone said to me at the start of the season, Palace will get 12th, I'd be like, oh, is it? Nice. I wouldn't be like, really? That's that's pretty crazy. Like, for me, the two that I look at, it's and really it's really true. weird because it's like the bias and the non-bias, is Spurs and Arsenal. Because I think that Arsenal and Spurs, like Jack was saying about listening to the Kickoffs podcast, where they predicted Leeds and Villa in the top six, I very rarely heard Spurs or Arsenal be mentioned inside mm, of the top, top seven, yeah, top yeah. eight. I'm hearing like ninth tenth. and tenth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the amount of YouTube that, videos I've seen that. Spurs and tenth. And I get it under Nuno. I get it under Nuno. And obviously Conte coming in, a lot of people would have said a different thing. But I think Arsenal is one of those where towards the end, I think they should have done better. But they to get fifth place, I think it's a big achievement and it's a big step up in Arteta's project. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't sack him if I was Arsenal yeah. like inside of Arsenal. And like a lot of um, Arsenal fans are calling for and I think with Spurs I think to get top four if you tell me at the start of the season we get top four I'll be blown away oh, yeah. like, I'd be I mean again like I say the whole Conte thing made a big difference yeah, yeah, yeah. but I, I think see. that um, I think that to do what we did this season is I, I still can't believe it and Sun getting the golden boot mad one I also oh, no, go on, Jack, go on. Oh, okay uh, no I, I feel continuing from his point then all right no I was gonna say is I think if you also said to a Newcastle fan after oh, three or four games you'd finish 11th Mm. Or even halfway through the season. They, they, yeah. they, they, yeah. After, after fourteen games, right? after yeah. fourteen yeah. games, wins the game. Yeah, but points per game. I completely agree. Even if yeah. Eddie Howe yeah. kept him up, you were still expecting him to be fifty. No, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, they had to average. I was saying this last time. 2. Average 2. over two points, so two point two a game. But that's just to get like sixteenth. Yeah. In fact, to get eleventh, I think. And actually, they outplayed a lot of teams. They did. Like, they it really did. Arsenal. Yeah. Like, yeah. Arsenal. Awesome. That Arsenal. Awesome. Obviously, I watched it because it was the top four and they had it in their hands and whatnot. Mm. Bottle jobs. But when I watched that game, I was like, you know, you got the stadium was rocking. They, they've always had a great yeah. crowd. And then I think they actually outplayed them. Like Jolington in the midfield made <laughs> Arsenal's midfield look and average, look and that says it all for me. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, uh, yeah. Can we can we move on yeah. from Arsenal, boys? Just bring it back. Uh, <laughs> right. Bring back yeah. memories. What about you, Jack? <laughs> Controversial. Personally, and I, obviously, and a few people have said no here on this table, but I said Wolves. What? Now, you've got to think back. Mm, really? So, you've got to think, well, wait, let me explain. Oh, really? You've what, got to really? explain no. here. It's, <laughs> think about them. Set, they were 7th, right? 7th, 8th, right? A every year under Nuno. Yeah. Right? First of all, Nuno left. That's big. Second of all, where did they come the last season under Nuno? 15th. Didn't have a striker because of Raul Jimenez. We didn't know how he did, first of all, with his head injury. Didn't know if he'd be up to speed. They had to take a punt from Bruno Lars, who only managed for Braga, I think, and he only managed a season at Braga. Oh, and that he'd been an assistant manager. Mm. I think uh, the players that they brought in, what was Trincao on loan, and that was it. They, they didn't bring anyone in. Oh, Jose Sar as well, who was, who was uh, to be fair, brilliant player. 
I think the, the business they've done has been superb, obviously, right. as I said, Jose Star. But, like, I think overall, and he's moulded the team into something good. And I think as well, if, you, if we're talking about Star of the Season compared to now, they, they should have got, they should have got top seven. Easy. They should have. They, they should have got seven right. They were this there been, it, oh, if, 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 if you'd said, if I'd said overachievers and they finished where they should have, which is seventh, sixth, then you would have all gone, yeah. But because they finished tenth in the end and they dropped they off dropped towards off. the last two months, they lost to Brighton. Oh, yeah. They got battered by Brighton, brought, battered by Palace. Um, yeah, I think they, they dropped Arsenal off towards the end twice. of the season. They got mm, battered by yeah. Arsenal twice, even when they had a red cars. They I think look, us. they 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 did struggle. So I mean, they beat you, but they beat yeah, they beat. So I mean, I think they beat. They didn't they beat Man United as well. They beat Man United. We beat well, United. well that's, that's true. Yeah, yeah. To be fair, we didn't. We didn't. Well, yeah. well, actually, we did at home. But I'm pretty sure we didn't beat them. Um, but like that's what I'm saying. So I think I think if you if you'd sat here before the season and gone to Wolf fan, five games to go, you 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 at the end of the season this season, you would have got fifth. You should have yeah. got sixth, sixth, yeah, yeah, yeah. something like that. Then I think they would have gone, huh? Because of obviously Jimenez not being yeah, there, course, new manager, yeah. new signings. I think definitely overachievers for me. All right, so everyone overachievers on two. Start with you, Jake. So I'm going to go with so my overachievers Brighton and my underachievers is Villa. Sweet. I'll go overachievers Spurs just over Arsenal for edging that top four, and then underachievers I've I've swayed. I've gone United. Oh. Uh, overachievers I'm going to go Palace, and underachievers I'm going to go with Leicester. Okay. Underachievers, I'm gonna go Villa. Mm. And overachievers, I'm gonna go with Newcastle. Yeah. I said overachievers, Wolves obviously. Underachievers, I didn't really say this. Southampton. Oh, uh, under, under, yeah. Under, yeah. yeah I what, to be fair, they, 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 they were easy top ten. I predicted them. They were easy top ten, yeah. and then they, but the last two months, two months, they got, they bowled they it. They were full for a little bit as well. They, they were up there, but then they, they bowled it. Yeah, and they're they going to lose World Prowse probably. World so World Prowse is going West Ham. I think they're going to get relegated this year. Yeah, I think eighteen. Yeah. We said last last yeah. week, didn't we? Can I also get one word answer, one team answer? Where's Gareth Bell going to be playing this football next year? I'm going to start off. Because I know and I've got a feeling he's just going to be, he's going to Cardiff. Yeah. I was going to say Cardiff, he's yeah, Cardiff. Cardiff. It makes Cardiff. the most sense. It makes the most sense. Cardiff, Cardiff. 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 Yeah. Cardiff. yeah. I, know, I was going to say, I know, I haven't, I haven't I know you'll hate this, sir. Is Spurs Cardiff. taking back? Um, I think Paratici loves him, but I think Conte doesn't want him. The wages, it depends how much he wants to be honest, but it's not a player that we're heavily linked with. I'll take him back. You don't need him. I've, I, I, I see him going to the Championship. I actually think he's going to sign Cardiff. a six month contract. Cardiff. I think he's going to yeah. retire after the World yeah, Cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's just thinking. He'll try and go out. Where and like, he's not even thinking about money. As crazy as it is for Bale to not be thinking about money, he's been sat on the bench collecting his 500 grand a week for years now. So I think he's going to be like, I'll take, I don't know, 50 grand a week at, I don't know, any Championship or low Premier League team, as long as he can start and then he'll be ready for the World Cup. I saw someone say that Man United should go and get Bale and Eriksson. You know what? I wouldn't even Ericsson really would be a good sign. Yeah. Yeah. Eriksson's world class. What, he still is. 2013. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Bale never Man United again. I disagree. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, well, Overall, that wraps right. up the second episode. It's been a pleasure. Thank thanks you to the guests. Our guests. Thank you for having us, boys. Yeah, yeah, it's been a pleasure. Thank you, guys. Yeah. 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 Thanks to again. everyone for the overwhelming support. It's been brilliant listening to any suggestions you've got online and all of the views. So, catch you on the next one. See you guys. Thanks.